Well, the team of Australians may have solved two of the biggest problems which have held back renewable energy. Their patented thermal storage bricks could make it far easier for companies and countries to drastically cut their emissions. Not far from the New South Wales Hunter Valley's Liddell Power Station and its unmistakable plumes from burning coal, engineers are creating what could be a coal killer. This black brick is a power and potentially planet saver. Our thermal energy storage blocks are an engineered material, the purpose of which is to capture and hold heat, thermal energy, uh, from renewably generated um, resource and then uh, dispatch that when the sun isn't shining. It's a solution to the biggest problems of renewables, storage and distribution. Remote solar arrays like these aren't much good if the energy they capture can't be easily and cheaply sent to our homes and businesses and used at all hours. Thermal bricks could be particularly useful for cutting carbon emissions from factories and heavy industry, which account for more than 10% of Australia's total emissions. We can make sure that that, um, that factory process runs 24-7 just like it does at present and that the cost of energy remains very low. MGA thermals blocks are made from aluminium and graphite and can last around 30 years. The Newcastle team's tech is attracting interest overseas. A Swiss company plans to use it to repurpose retired and active coal-fired plants as these Aussies look for other collaborators for emissions reducing projects. There are some great initiatives in many different parts of the world that are, that are happening more or less in isolation. Prime Minister Scott Morrison this week promised more than $20 billion in funding for low emissions technologies over the next decade. There are calls for the government to create a sort of NBN for renewables, a new national transmission network. We need to ensure that there's enough transmission to bring the new solar and wind, far, uh, wind power into the cities, into the factories and homes in the cities. As clever Australians continue to create new weapons for the fight against climate change. Brent O'Halloran, Sky News.